Hello everyone. Salam barchaga. Sizlar bilan navbatdagi hikoyani birgalikda o'qiymiz. Navbatdagi hikoyamiz bu The Little Red Chicken. First of all, I'm going to read whole story in English and then we will translate sentence by sentence. Are you ready? The Little Red Chicken. A little red chicken had a story in a small town. She sold many different items to people in the town. The people loved her products. One day, a cat came to her property. He saw the sign that indicated where the chicken store was located. He wanted to purchase bread, but the chicken store was almost empty. She had only a bag of wheat. You can use the wheat to make bread. The chicken said, No, I don't want to work, the cat said. I just want to buy bread. The cat became angry and left the store. Later, the little red chicken saw the cat in a crowd. I will help you make the bread, she said. But the cat treated her badly. He did not even communicate with her. He did not want to do any work. So the chicken decided to make the bread. She selected the exact amount of wheat to make fresh bread. She used a stone to pound the wheat to get it ready. Soon, her bread was ready. The cat came and saw the bread on a dish. Give me some of your bread, he said. No, said the little red chicken. You did not help me make the bread, so you shall not have any to eat. The cat argued with the chicken and tried to offer a price for it. But the little red chicken did not want to sell her bread. Don't depend on others to do work for you, said the little red chicken. Then how will I get bread, the cat asked. I recommend you some work, said the little red chicken. Use a tool to plant your own wheat, and when it grows big, you can gather it and make your own bread. You need to learn to work for what you want. Great quote. Okay, next step is to translate sentence by sentence. The little red chicken. Kichkina qizil tovuqcha. Qizil tovuqcha deb kesilgan bo'ladi. Qizil jo'jacha yoki tovuqcha. A little red chicken had a store in a small town. Bir kichkina qizil tovuqchaning kichkina bir shaharchada do'konchasi bo'lgan ekan. She sold many different items to people in the town. U shahardagi odamlarga turli xil mahsulotlarni, ya'ni item, buyumlarni sotgan ekan. The people loved her products. Osha shahardagi odamlar uning mahsulotlarini yoqtirisharkan. One day a cat came to her property. Kunlarning birida bir mushuk uning mulkiga, ya'ni uning o'sha do'koniga kelibdi. He saw he saw the signs that indicated where the chicken store was located. U u osha tovuqning do'koni qayerda joylashganligini ko'rsatib turadigan ishorani ko'ribdi. Indicate degani ko'rsatib turmoq. Sign degani ishora. Sign degani qo'l ma'nosi deyman. Qo'l achitib qo'yamiz u qo'l. He want to purchase bread. But the chicken store was almost empty. U Non uchun to'lov qilishni xohlabdi, lekin tovuqning do'koni deyarli bo'mbosh ekan. She had only a bag of wheat. Unda faqatgina bir sumka bug'doy qilib bor ekan. You can use the wheat to make bread, the chicken said. Sen non tayyorlash uchun ushbu bug'doydan foydalanishing mumkin debdi tovuq. No, I don't want to work, the cat said. Yo'q, men ishlashni xohlamayman, debdi mushuk. I just want to buy bread. Men shunchaki non sotib olishni xohlayman, debdi. The cat became angry and left the store. Mushuk g'azablanib, do'koni tark etibdi. Later, the little red chicken saw the cat in a crowd. Keyinroq, o'sha kichkina qizil tovuqcha, o'sha mushukchani bir olomon ichida ko'rib qolibdi. Crowd degan olomon. I will help you make the bread, she said. Men senga non tayyorlash uchun yordam beraman, debdi tovuq. But the cat treated her badly. He did not even communicate with her. Lekin mushuk u bilan yomon muomala qilibdi, hattoki u bilan muloqot ham qilmabdi. Communicate degani muloqot qilmoq, even degani hattoki. He did not want to do any work. U umuman ishlashni xohlamas ekan. So the chicken decided to do I'm sorry. So the chicken decided to make the bread. Shu sababli Tovuq non tayyorlashga qaror qilibdi, ya'ni o'sha bir bir sumka bug'doydan. 
she select the exact amount of wheat to make the fresh bread wheat ya bani na ajrash lu dunya wheat 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 up with that she select the exact amount of wheat to make fresh bread u u yani fresh degani yangi u yangi non tayyorlash uchun yangi non tayyorlash uchun bug'doyning aniq miqdorini belgilab olibdi exact degani aniq select degani o'sha tanlab olmoq belgilab olmoq o'lchab olmoq degan ma'no oladi select She used the stone to pound the wheat to get it ready. U bug'doy tayyor bo'lishligi uchun u bug'doyni tayyor qilish uchun va qanday u tayyor qilishlik uchun bug'doyni yanchigani bir toshdan foydalanibdi. Ya'ni bug'doyni yanchib uni un qilish kerak va u bug'doyni yanchish u bug'doy tayyor bo'lish uchun uni yanchigani bitta toshdan foydalanibdi. Stone degani tosh, pound degani o'sha yanchimoq. Soon her bread was ready. Ko'p o'tmay uning noni tayyor bo'libdi. The cat came and saw the bread on a dish. O'sha mushukcha kelib, dish degani tarelka, idish. O'sha mushukcha kelib, dish yo'lda qaranglar, o'zbek tiliga yaqin idish. O'sha mushukcha kelib, bir idish ustida nonni ko'rib qopti. Give me some of your bread, he said. Shunda mushukcha noningdan ozgina sen menga ber debdi. Shunda tovuq no, says a little chicken. Tovuq yo'q debdi. You did not help me make the bread. Sen menga non tayyorlash uchun yordam bermading debdi. So you shall not have any to eat. Shu sababli sen hech umuman yemasliging kerak deyapti. Mana bu shall. Shall ham o'sha yemasliging kerak ma'nolarida kelib ketadi. Men kengroq tushuntirib o'taman. The cat argued with the chicken. The cat argued with the chicken. O'sha mushuk tovuq bilan bahslashdi. Argue degani bahslashmoq. He tried to offer a price for it. U non uchun, u non uchun narx taklif qilishga harakat qilibdi. Offer degan taklif qilmoq, price degan narx. But the little red chicken did not want to sell her bread. Lekin qizil tovuqcha o'zining nonini sotishni xohlamabdi. Don't depend on others to do work for you. Said the little red chicken. O'zing uchun ishlashga boshqalarga qaram bo'lmagin deyapti. Ya'ni o'zing uchun nimadir kerak bo'lsa boshqalarga qaram bo'lmagin deyapti. Depend degani qaram bo'lmoq. Then how will I get bread? The cat asked. Unday bo'lsa men qanday qilib nonga ega bo'laman? Qanday qilib non topaman deyapti. I recommend doing some work. Said the little red chicken. Men senga ayrim ishlarni qilishni tavsiya qilaman deyapti. Recommend degan tavsiya qilmoq. Use a tool to plant your own wheat. Use a tool to plant your own wheat. Wheat, wheat. O'zingning bug'doyingga ega bo'lishlik uchun deyapti, o'zingning bug'doyini ekishing uchun deyapti, bir jihozdan foydalan. Tool degani jihoz. When it grows big, you can gather it and make your own bread. Ana shu ekkan bug'doying katta bo'lganidan so'ng uni to'plab olib, o'zingni non tayyorlab olasan deyapti. You need to learn to do work for what you want. O'zingga nima kerak bo'lsa, o'shaning uchun ishlashni o'rganishing kerak deyapti. Mana bu dono tovuqcha, dangasa mushukchaga. Xo'p. Ikkinchi, uchinchi ko'rinish so'zlarni so'zma so'z tarjima qilib chiqish. Aydim, aydim mahsulot product. Bu ham mahsulot, lekin aydim bu yerda buyum bo'lib keladi, misol uchun. Aydim bu sumka, ham boshqa boshqa boshqa, masalan, daftar ruchkalar ham aydim ma'nosiga kirib ketadi. Product deb tur, mahsulot ishlab chiqarilayotgan. Property, mulk, indicate, ko'rsatmoq, purchase. Purchase. Purchase to'lov qilmoq, empty, bo'sh. Crowd, olomon, treat, muomala qilmoq, communicate, munosabat, suhbatlashmoq, select, tanlamoq, exact, aniq, fresh, yangi, dish, idish, argue, bahslashmoq, offer, taklif qilmoq, price, narx, depend, qaram bo'lmoq, recommend, tavsiya qilmoq, tool, jihoz, gather, to'plamoq. Xo'p, yakuniy ko'rinish Boshdan oxirgacha hikoyani yana bir bor ingliz tilida o'qib hikoyani yangilab yakunlaymiz. The little red chicken. A little red chicken had a store in a small town. She sold many different items to people in the town. The people loved her products. One day, a cat came to her property. He saw the sign that indicated where the chicken store was located. He wanted to purchase bread, but the chicken store was almost empty. She had only a bag of wheat. You can use the wheat to make to make bread, the chicken said. No, I don't want to work, the cat said. I just want to buy bread. The cat became angry and left the store. Later, the little red chicken saw the cat in a crowd. 
I will help you make the bread, she said. But the cat treated her badly. He did not even communicate with her. He did not want to do any work. So the chicken decided to make the bread. She selected the exact amount of wheat to make fresh bread. She used a stone to pound the wheat to get it ready. Soon her bread was ready. The cat came and served the bread on a dish. Give me some of your bread, he said. No, says the little red chicken. You did not help me make the bread. So you shall not have any to eat. The cat argued with the chicken. He tried to offer a price for it. But the little red chicken did not want to sell her bread. Don't depend on others to do work for you, said the little red chicken. Then how will I get bread? The cat asked. I recommend doing some work, said the little red chicken. Use a tool to plant your own wheat. When it grows big, you can gather it and make your own bread. You need to learn to do work for what you want. So this story is finished. See you next time. Bye for now.